Hello and welcome back to my channel, My Board. Today we're learning about the missing lengths of compound shapes. So as you see, you have a compound shape laid out. So a compound shape, um, I'm going to tell you the definition right now. So a compound shape is two shapes that are mixed together. As you see, this is a compound shape and we've laid the lengths and widths out. So as you see, this is a square and a rectangle that is mixed together. So those are the shapes that made a compound shape. So, and what we have to do in this compound shape, we have to find out the, this missing length here. So as you know, and these two missing lengths. So we will also show what an area of a compound shape, how we can make it. So we have a compound shape right here. So what we can do, we know our knowledge, so we know that 7 minus 3 will give us the answer of 4. So what it's made is if you just close this down, this will make just a lined rectangle line. It's a long line, just as long as this. So what they we've done is we have to subtract this and this, 7 and 3, and then we'll get the answer, which is 4. So now what we have to do is, as we just told you, we will flatten the shape and we will think how it will be. So 4 to minus 2. So our answer will come as 2 again. So we will just put 2 here. So we found the missing lengths. Now I want to find the, per uh, the area. First, let's find the perimeter. So we have to add all of these sides together. So we will do 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 7. So this is what we have to find out. So 4 plus 4 gives us 8. So we know that 8 plus 2 will give us 10. So 8 plus 3, 10 plus 3, um, that will give us 13. So 13 plus 2 will give us 15. So 15 plus 7 will give us 22. So this is 22 centimetres instead of centimetres squared. Because centimetres squared is the unit for the peri area. So now we have to find the area. So this might look a little difficult because you know this is a compound shape. We can't find it because this is not uh, a quadrilateral a proper quadrilateral because as you see this is going down here and if it would have been a rectangle it would have gone straight but this thing here has gone down from here so what we can do we have to just as you can see we can just cut it down from here or here i think i could cut it down from here so now i just need to close that and i've made a square as i told you a compound shape or two shapes mixed together so if we find one area of a square like this square we might find um the whole shapes area because we have to add this and this together but first we have to make the area which is times in the length and the width so now we know that four and two is the length and the width for this square here so which we've shortened down so now we have to do four times two let's count in four rows of two four eight so we've counted four two four two times on four so that will give us the answer of eight so we know eight is there so now we have shortened this into a, a rectangle so we know that if this is four because this is longer than this side then this can't fit in this but this is going up, so we do not need that. So what we have to do is 7 times 2. So 7, 14. We've counted two rows of 7, which has given us 14. So now what we do is 8 plus 14. So as you see, we're going to write 8 plus 14. So we have 22 now. And this will be with a centimetre squared instead of centimetres. Because we also have to put our units of measurement in. 
so this is how to find the missing lengths of compound tree and then find the area and the perimeter because we've made the shape on the air how to find the area and the perimeter of a, a shape because those shapes are quadrilaterals but this is called a compound shape so this is all for our video today thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel my world